Welcome back, Amateur County. Joining this morning, Tom Thompson, Peggy Davis. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How's it's it nice to meet you, Peggy. Nice to meet you too. Finally, yeah. I've read so many nice things about uh, Davis Ranch. Absolutely. And um, here to talk this morning about a program called Helping Hands. Yes. Okay. Yes, Let's it's an amazing, amazing, tremendous opportunity for the uh, the food bank. Um, Peggy Davis with Helping Hands and uh, Davis Ranch has offered the food bank an opportunity to uh, go down for the next 26 weeks. And all it takes one day, one week, once a week, to go for two and a half hours and harvest food for the food bank. And everything that we pick, our group picks, comes back to the food bank. Oh, wow. It's a no-brainer. Right. <laughs> it's a great opportunity for church groups, uh, students that need service uh, hours, you know, community service hours. Uh, service organizations, you know, spend a little time helping the food bank and uh, serving the community. Okay, what kind of um, uh, produce will they be picking? Well, uh, there's about 30 things that we grow, but primarily we'll be picking squashes and um, cucumbers, bell peppers, watermelon, wow. cantaloupe. As the season progresses, we'll add more. We've been doing this, Davis Ranch has been doing this for about 20 years, but we discovered there's so much surplus. We plant heavy because we want it to be, we want to always have plenty, and so we have more than enough that just gets turned under. So last year we formed Helping Hands Produce because we know that we have produce, but we also know that it takes helping hands to produce anything good in our community. Right. So that's when we started tapping into um, volunteers and uh, school educational field trips teaching on nutrition and, right. and you hit on something because it's important for kids to understand that um, not everybody has food on their table at night and I think that this is a good idea no, no matter what they do whatever you know bring a can of food you know, like once a month have a food drive or whatever mm -hmm. and we have them up and up but we had it up in our neighborhood um, on the mailboxes to put food in there mm -hmm. and um, and I missed it because I was I was gone, so I just brought my stuff in. I've got it too <laughs> for you today. But but you know I was in the Bay Area for about five days, and lo and behold, I saw a lot of little gardens on the side of people's mm -hmm. yards, and I saw the little community garden. So mm -hmm. people are going back to that, and I saw a food trucks. You know the uh, the like like the food, food bank. banks. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's growing. Well, last year we were able to get harvest over 500, over almost a half a million, over a half a million pounds of surplus that went to the wow. food banks. That was, we thought, maybe a third of what we could have actually done with more volunteers. Wow. Um, we work with Food Link and all the larger food banks and then all our local food banks, too. We want to get them filled up. There's so much nutritious food that just gets worked into the ground, so right. we mm -hmm. want to make it come here. <laughs> right. How many acres do you grow at Davis Ranch? We grow um, just around 500 acres. Wow. That's yeah. unbelievable. And we always plant heavy, and this year we planted heavier because we can, and uh, we just love seeing this go out. See, I think I'd like to see the the kids get involved and do, you know, do a field trip out there and pick, and then have them bring it to the food bank and show them your hard work and and what they've done, and then take it to you and show the rewarding the reward at the end of of everybody's hard work. And I think once you get young people involved in that, it stays you know it stays in their heart, and they and they say you know what to their mother and father. These kids can't go through a fast food place. These kids don't eat good produce. They don't have that mm -hmm. you know. And I think that it's it's. That's where you start, is with the little ones. We teach education, uh, Helping Hands Produce teaches educational field trips. So for about a half an hour, I talk about healthy dirt and good growing and why nutrition right. is so important. And then the kids, we talk about community service and reaching out. And the kids go out and fill their boxes. And we'll say, fill one for yourself and then take fill two or three more for, for the community, for the Absolutely. food banks. And they just they say, no, no, I want to do five. I want to do I want to feed 10 families. They fill boxes, peach boxes. And one See? peach box goes to one needy family. You mentioned the dirt is I was always told as a, as a child that the the dirt at, in the slough house area is, is a special it is it, it, there's something special because about it because it is a slough it's got all this all the water running out of the foothills out of the mountains in the winter that floods into a slough before the levees were there that whole slough would fill up because it's a small a slough is a a little valley with a wide opening and a narrow funnel so the water would back up and all that sediment would settle down so, so that rich. dirt is fantastic Very so there's a rich, lot of right? silt and, and and a lot of health and the Healthy. fish there's fish in there so there uh, were, there were. <laughs> not, a whole lot more. not a whole lot. Tommy, you're looking for volunteers to go yes. down and pick. How do we get signed up? Uh, give me a call two six seven nine zero zero six. Rotary, Kiwanis, Lions, 
uh, church groups, church youth groups. We're looking for, for 10 to 20 folks to go out at one time, two and a half hours. Um, we're looking for an age group, you know, mid-high school or above. Um, because it is it is some work, you know. It's, yeah. it's it's there. There's opportunities for for schools to go out and do the field trips and things like that. Peg, as Peggy was talking about, um, but this is an opportunity to go out for two and a half hours and just in harvest. Um, I was down there uh, last Friday, I think it was Friday, and, and uh, graciously gave me a truckload, <laughs> a, a bin, a watermelon bin of zucchini. Wonderful. Nice. And hey, stay right there. We're gonna we got to run to an ad break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 